Attention. We are now at DEFCON 1. Security lockdown. Russian nukes in space. The country recently tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. Hypersonic missiles and aircraft could be the future of warfare. One of the most powerful nuclear weapons in the world is the B-83 nuclear bomb, the heavyweight of the U.S. arsenal. Weighing about 2,400 pounds or 1,100 kilograms and stretching 12 feet or 3.7 meters in length with a diameter of 18 inches or 46 centimeters, it's roughly the size of a small car. But within this imposing frame lies a force of unimaginable destruction. The B-83 is a gravity bomb, meaning it's dropped from an aircraft and relies solely on gravity to reach its target. No rockets or propulsion systems, just a free-falling descent. This might sound simple, but the devastation it can unleash is anything but. Carried by strategic bombers like the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and the B-52 Stratofortress, the B-83 can be delivered deep into enemy territory. With a blast yield of up to 1.2 megatons of TNT, the B-83 is approximately 80 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, which had a yield of about 15 kilotons. To put that into perspective, imagine the explosive energy of 1.2 million tons of TNT detonating in a single moment. of a nuclear conflict is no longer a Cold War memory, with nine states armed with atomic bombs that are an average 20 to 30 times stronger than those dropped in the Second World War, the stakes are undeniably higher. Now, only two nuclear weapons have ever been used in warfare when the U.S. targeted the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. The two bombs, Little Boy and Fat Man, exploded with a combined destructive power, more than 30 kilotons of energy. Yet they pale in comparison to the weapons in modern nuclear arsenals. Despite the devastation and worldwide shock following the bombings of Japan, U.S. interest in such explosives persisted. Now, the B-83 is the highest yield nuclear weapon in America's arsenal. It's 80 times more powerful than Little Boy, and 650 of them are in active service. 